Hey guys, Anton here. So today I'm going to show you a tweak that has been around on the iPhone forever, but um, it has, it's not been on an iPad and it hasn't been available on an iPad for as long as I can remember. I remember when I first bought my iPad, I was looking around for it and I couldn't find it. It's the weather, um, it's the weather and the stock application inside the notification bar. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to get it onto your iPad. So let's find out. Hey guys, so this is how to get the, the weather app in, into your notification bar. Um, first you have to go into your uh, Cydia here. Um, so this does require a jailbroken iPad and this works on both um, Retina iPads and regular iPads. So this will work on pretty much all iPads, um, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, go into your Cydia. And I have this on iOS 6, but I think this should probably work on older versions as well. Um, let me know in the comments if it works for you or not. Um, so you go into your sources, and you'll have to add another repo. So um, same story as always, edit, add. And this one, it's going to be um, Cydia. Dot Bassem Kesem dot com Cydia dot Bassem Kesem dot com and I'm probably saying that wrong um, but I'll put the link in the video description and props to um, props to this guy who um, put this easy easy way of putting the native um, iPhone apps um, into your iPad um, because I looked at other ways, there there are other much more complicated ways. This is the easiest way by far to do it. Um, so you hit Add Sources, wait for it to verify. It doesn't take too long. Um, it'll update its sources, then it'll do a refresh like normal, and that should be that. Return to Cydia, and once once you do that, you can either um, you can either search for it down here or you can just go right into here. That's what I usually do when I add another, um, when I add a new repo in there. And he has two different ones, um, iPhone native apps 5.0. Oh, okay, so it will work on iOS 5. Um, but the one you want, um, so select the one that's appropriate for your version. I have iOS 6, iOS 6.1 on mine. So I'll go ahead, hit the install. It's 42 megs. Um, it, it takes a while, but it includes like it includes a couple of different apps in there. Um, okay, and it's going to some. I don't know why it did that, but it's still running. I guess it wants me to do something here. I'm not sure, and that just crashed. So that was pretty weird. Oh, that's probably just the advertisement in the back. But um, it'll still it'll still keep going. It'll finish downloading, and once you're done, um, you get a few of the iOS apps here. You'll get the stock, um, the compass, and weather. Okay, so we're waiting a little bit here. It just finished downloading. It just installed, and it's gonna go into this configuration thing here. It's just gonna be a minute longer so we'll respring okay so as you can see there are the four I said three earlier um, it's actually four they're the four default iPhone applications in here and the problem is when you open them up they open up in like the, the iPhone format so like this tiny thing you can double it if you want so I never actually use this tweak to check these apps out I mean you can like I, I suppose there might be times when the compass might be useful. I doubt it really. Um, but what I pretty much use it for is um, when you open up the, the notification bar now, there comes your weather and your stocks. <clears throat> now one thing to note about this is if you actually hit um, the stock, instead of, instead of going to like the app, which it does on the iPhone version, it goes into like the Yahoo website and it doesn't work too well so if, if you want like an extended forecast 
whatever um, you'll have to actually look it up on Safari or whatever like that so even if you hit over here it's gonna go to the same website um, I think it works the same way for the stocks yep so it just goes to the Yahoo website um, but it is nice to have there. I mean sometimes when you're just sitting there you're wondering what the temperature is like um, What it's gonna be like today um, That's perfect for it and so um, And then the one last thing you probably are already know how to do this is if you want to move it up and down like um, Well, for instance, I don't like having the stock in mine at all um, But if in case you wanted to move it down all you have to do is go into your settings here and then hit notification and then you'll want to hit edit and then you'll find it at the bottom here that's it's the newest one added so it will be at the bottom but um, so say you want the weather widget at the very top that's what you do if you want the stocks right below it that's what you can do here and otherwise if you don't want the weather stocks at all like in my case I just bring it down into the not in notification center part there and then you hit done and um, I apologize for these other apps this is actually my niece's iPad so she has a bunch of these kid apps on here but that's how you get the notification bar um, the weather app in the notification bar All right, and so that's that. And this is how it looks like on my iPad. Um, it's it's the same thing, except I have the like an extra theme over it, um, and I have the calendar there. But that's it. Hey guys, so that's the weather app. Um, I like this tweak a lot. I check with the weather on my iPad all the time, and I always wonder why Apple didn't include this in their original um, firmware. So um, that's how you install it and I hope, I hope this works for you. If you have any comments, go ahead and ask them below and I'll try to answer it for you. Um, if you like this video, I'll be making others. Um, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good night.